Amberin is a very popular menopause supplement, and it actually happens to be the very first YouTube video I ever made several years ago, but there have been some new developments. So in this updated video, let's look at the research on Amberin and what they found and some other things you should be aware of. So here's the Amberin supplement facts label, and the key ingredient in Amberin is found in what they call the Amberin menopause proprietary compound, which is actually a proprietary blend of six different ingredients, which all of them add up to about 400 milligrams. Of these six ingredients, the key ingredient is the first one you see, ammonium succinate. This is the actual key ingredient in the Amberin supplement. As you'll soon see in the Amberin clinical studies, they actually call it succinic acid. So why do they do this? Well, succinic acid is derived from amber and the older name for succinic acid is amber acid. So you get the connection here. Amberin, amber acid, succinic acid is the key ingredient in amberin. Okay, so, so much for the trivia. Let's look at the clinical studies on amberin and see what we can figure out. So back in 2008, it was reported that the amberin supplement could reverse menopause in older rats after just four weeks of use. And well, that's really nice to know, we're not rats, so what about the human research? So we have this investigation where 70 women who are going through menopause are given either two capsules of the Amberin supplement or a placebo, and after three weeks it was reported that the women who were taking Amberin had significant improvements in feelings of well-being, insomnia, depression got better, anxiety improved, and all this was significantly better than women who took placebo pills. Now I will call out that in this paper they don't actually call it amber and they call it something else but if you look at the ingredients the ingredients in this supplement are very similar to what you see in amber this leads me to think that this may be the very first human clinical trial on the amber and supplement in this next paper which i think is the best study on amber and conducted so far involved 125 women they're going through menopause as they was described when they filled out before and after questionnaires. The women are given either a placebo or two capsules of amberin each day for three months. They take one capsule in the morning, they take another amberin capsule in the evening. Everybody completes the study so there were no dropouts. That's a good sign. So after three months, it's reported that 62% of the menopausal symptoms that were tested before and after this investigation improved in the women who were taking amberin supplements relative to those who were taking a placebo. So putting it another way, 13 out of the 21 menopausal symptoms that were tested were improved in those women taking amberin. These symptoms improved night sweats, insomnia, depression, irritability, loss of libido. They all appeared to be significantly better after taking amberin for three months. These women also appeared to show improvements in body fat and body weight and body mass index, all of which went down between three and 4%, again, after using Amberin for three months. Another point that's interesting about this investigation is that the women taking Amberin also showed a significant increase in estrogen levels. Their estrogen levels almost doubled, going from 34 picograms per milliliter up to about 66 picograms per milliliter. So that's impressive. And that brings us to this paper, which came out in 2019. It's not a clinical study, it's actually a review of two previous clinical trials of Amberin, one of which I just told you about, and another investigation, which unfortunately I can't read because it's in Russian. Essentially, they combined the results of both of these clinical trials together and concluded that there is good evidence that Amberin can improve menopause symptoms in women. As for amberin side effects, none of the human clinical trials I saw showed any significant side effects of amberin, and that's good. However, if you are doing your own research on amberin, you're bound to come across this report. It describes a woman who recently started taking amberin, and she stated to her doctors that soon after she took amberin, she started having chest pains, and it was discovered that she had a tear in one of her coronary arteries. Now, as you can imagine, this is pretty serious, and I did write about this report on supplementclarity.com. I will link to that review below this video so you can learn more about it. But bottom line here, none of the amberin clinical trials involving humans mentioned anything about this happening. And those studies lasted for up to three months. Also, since that report was published, I have not seen anything else that apparently links amberin to this tear in a coronary artery. Again, if you're doing your own research, I'm gonna to link to that report in the references below this video so you can show it to your doctor if this is something that you're concerned about. 
So a few things about the Amberin research that I want to call your attention to. Number one, there's an awful lot of laboratory animal research studies on Amberin, and I didn't even include them because we're not laboratory animals. Most of the investigations on Amberin appear to occur in Russia, and that may be because this supplement was first studied in Russia. I will also point out that a lot of the same names appear on the Amberin clinical studies, and the Amberin company supports research on the Amberin supplement too. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing when a company supports research on their supplement. I actually like to see that myself because it means the company's putting their money where their mouth is. Now as for Amberin raising estrogen levels, that's a really intriguing finding. I will point out that so far, apparently only one clinical trial I saw showed that Amberin raised estrogen levels. So for me, I would like to see a few more clinical trials on Amberin raising estrogen. Nonetheless, I've heard from women over the years who have told me that when they took Amberin, many of their menopause symptoms improved. But what do you think of all this? Leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, take care out there.